Well, the ice shelves in Antarctica have melted to such an extent that since the mid-1990s, they've produced enough water to fill the Grand Canyon. A study released has put it all down to higher temperatures in the ocean and warned of the consequences of climate change and increasing melting of the ice. Our science and environment correspondent Victoria Gill has this. Ice shelf seems a very humble term for the huge masses of floating ice surrounding Antarctica. And to study these vast frozen platforms, scientists had to zoom right out into space. Using satellites to make precision measurements of the thickness of the ice shelf showed that in 25 years it lost enough mass to fill the Grand Canyon with water. The ice shelves we're seeing melting in this study are not going to raise sea level in themselves because they're actually already sitting in the water. They're already floating. The sea level rise comes when those ice shelves reduce the restraint that they exert on the rest of the Antarctic ice sheet, which then flows faster into the ocean, causing sea level rise. The effects of all this cold, fresh water entering the deep sea around Antarctica are likely to be felt far beyond the polar south. The ocean plays a major role in just controlling the climate around the world. Adding a lot of cold fresh water to the ocean kind of changes in the way in which it can transport heat and that can change global climate and maybe potentially even kind of change how, uh, change rainfall patterns around the world as well. Is that what scientists mean when they describe Antarctica as the world's thermostat? That what happens in to that ice and in that ocean is shifting weather patterns all around the world? Yeah, exactly. With many of the world's biggest cities by the coast, modelling future sea level rise accurately is crucial. This study reveals just how much of that accuracy depends on understanding what's happening to the ice at the end of the world. Victoria Gill, BBC News.